Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. If the shout-out patron for this episode isn't MBT cancelled by all communities soon, we have done the world a great disservice. This is Ghost Trick Madolce, colloquially referred to as Trick or Treat. Last episode I said that on the history of Jank, we've reached the bottom of the barrel. And I meant it. Now we are underneath the barrel, playing one of the most ridiculous assemblages of cards I have ever seen in my entire life. This deck's ratios might be optimal, but it's optimal in a different way. This is the most effectively I can piss off as many communities as possible in one episode of History of Jank. The only way it would get better is if I was playing photons in here as well. So I know what you're thinking, Joseph, this is a silly deck that you're playing for meme purposes. You've dreamed up this brew yourself, or maybe I wish I was dead has foisted it on you, but would you be surprised to know that this deck, Trick or Treat, was actually a pretty well-represented rogue contender during the first third of 2014. In fact, the list that you're looking at comes from Gabriel Andrade, who got top 16 at YCS Chicago, Illinois in March of 2014 with this list. So let me see if I can do my best to explain the theory behind this admitted pile of bulk. Madolce is an exceptionally powerful archetype. Each of the monsters recycles themselves, provided you've got Chateau and Ticket on the field. And these monsters are nothing to shake a stick at. With Chateau on field, they're all 1900 beaters at base and only get bigger from there. They have access to one of the most powerful rank fours in the game in Madolce Queen Tiramisu, which is incredible into established boards. But this archetype has one major weakness. If your opponent clears your field, you are a sitting duck for exactly one turn. Now, this can be helped with cards like Madolce Palooza. After the cards return to your hand by way of Chateau, you can special them onto your side of the field in order to potentially block your life points. But outside of that, there's not a great way to ensure that you survive. Enter the Ghost Tricks. Ghost Trick Jack Frost, a new release for 2014, is a better battle fader and is accessible off of both Ghost Trick Mary and Ghost Trick Jiangshi. By going through a Mary line after you take damage, you can block three attacks using these two monsters, all but ensuring that you're going to make it to your next turn. I hate to say this, but the Ghost Tricks actually make sense in here. After that, it's just a matter of getting enough Medolches on field in order to overlay for powerful Xyz monsters. You can use the fours to make Tiramisu or the threes to make MX Saber Invoker. Something like a male wife plus a hoot cake overlays into that, summoning a mess gelato off of the hoot cake and one off the invoker for an easy queen Tiramisu. Outside of that, the deck is full of traps that preserve your life total. Things like Divine Wrath, Bottomless Trap Hole, Compulse, Double Mirror Force, and traps that ensure you are able to OTK. Things like Trap Stun. I know it looks silly, and like I'm attempting to get doxxed by two communities at once, but there's actual thought that went into this brew, and actual gameplay it is capable of. Let's go through the card by card. We've got two copies of Valor, two copies of Jack Frost, three copies of Jiangxi, three copies of Mary, three copies of Hootcake, three copies of Mangeline, three copies of Messengelato, one male wife, Dark Hole, Medolce Chateau, Medolce Ticket, double MST, Bottomless Trapple, Compulsory Evacuation Device, double Divine Wrath, Medolce Palooza, double Mirror Force, double Mistake, Solemn Morning, Torrential, double Trap Stun, and double Vanity's Emptiness. In the side, we've got two DD Crow, two Maxi, two Debunk, two Fiendish Chain, two Full House, two Light Imprisoning Mirror, two Overworked, and one Soul Drain for an individual who appears to be allergic to three ups. In the Extra, we've got Armades, Abyss Dweller, Blade Armor Ninja, Diamond Direwolf, Gagaga Cowboy, Ghost Trick Alucard and Delahan, two Leviathan the Sea Dragon, MX Saber Invoker, two Tierra Masu, and Mechquipped Engineer, 101 Silent Honor Arc, and Black Ship of Corn. So with that, here's Alex. All right, so last episode fucking rocked. This episode is going to be much different. I gotta be honest, I do not have much experience playing uh, Quasar Plants, but uh, this is a deck that a lot of people like, so I am going to try my best, but uh, 
I don't know. That might not even be good enough. But Joseph's playing Ghost Trick. Uh, Madolce, so I'm probably fine. Uh, this deck is quite cool. A lot of people like seeing shooting Quasar Dragon because it's like one of those anime bosses that like, if you can summon it, it's like the neatest thing ever, but it doesn't automatically win you the game. So a lot of the times with this deck, it actually sort of just boils down to like a sort of combo control deck of sorts because we do have like a handful of traps in here and a lot of ways to control the board and the extra deck. So let's do the card by card. Uh, so we have Crane Crane. This is just like, a nice little uh, wolf bark for level threes that just came out recently uh, in the timeline that we are following. So nice little card. Dandelion still legal for some reason. Two Lone Fire. I think this is semi, otherwise we would just play three of this because this card's insane. Uh, if we see Lone Fire Blossom plus Soul Charge, we just win the game immediately. Triple Mathematician. Uh, this can send Dandelion just to get everything going, but it's also just a fine card because it draws us a card. It's also an Earth, which is sort of important for another card in here. Triple Maxi because it's basically a staple. Double Mystic Macrocarpa Seed. This card is, it can only be used for the synchro of an earth synchro monster and you can target an earth monster on the field and reduce its level by one up to twice per turn kind of nice for level modulation but just a very strange card uh we have redox in here as well triple spell striker this is kind of neat just because uh with rota you can just search it and special it and then you can take this and like overlay like this and anything for a three like a uh, melee so that's neat we have a spore and a titanial you could just play titanial control with this deck and that's perfectly fine spells we have dark hole foolish double mst a rota triple soul charge triple super solar nutrient this card's kind of sick. So if you have any of your plants, you can just use this, tribute the plant, summon Lone Fire, and then you're basically just like off to the races. So that's awesome. We have a double, uh, excuse me, triple upstart. Don't know why this is out of order. A foolish burial. And then the traps, we have bottomless triple wind blast. What's nice about this is we want a lot of our cards in the graveyard. So we can afford to actually take the minus here, but it sets our opponent back by putting the card back on top of their deck. Or if it's an extra deck monster, it just goes back to the extra deck. We have warning, treachle, and of course, vanities. The extra deck, there's a lot of stuff. So there's uh, Cataster, Armory Arm, Black Rose, Crimson Blade, Formula Synchron and Leo Keeper of the Sacred Tree. We have Double Melee of the Trees. If you've never seen this card before, this card's actually pretty sick. Two level three Earths are required to make it. At once per turn, you can detach an Xyz material to activate one of these effects. Either send a plant from your deck to the grave, which is obviously what you want for most of them, or target a plant in your grave, special summon it in defense. So if you go like Spell Striker Macro Kappa Seed, or if you go Dandelion Spell Striker, you can just overlay, get Lone Fire, and then you have like Lone Fire access immediately. Also Mathematician. I mean, that works too. It's a level three. Then we have a bunch of like synchros that could also come up as well. Barkeon and Beast are wonderful because we're playing a ton of Earths. Scarred Warrior, you just sometimes kind of need this to be able to go into like Quasar. Scrap Dragon's actually a good card. Quasar, of course, the shooting star for when Quasar dies. And Hyper Librarian's ideally what we're going to be trying to go for. But it's also kind of weird. Like the Macro Carpa Seed allows it making the synchros a little bit easier because you can make one of your other Earths a two. And then that means you can go into a five. But you can't actually because this is an Earth. So it, it's like, it's, it's kind of weird how you have to do some things in this deck, but again, we're just trying to get Lone Fire, Soul Charge, and then we just win the game. Side deck, I'm probably going to side into all these because I know what these cards do. Uh, triple DD Crow, Triple Fire Hand, Triple Ice Hand, Triple Wiretap, and Triple Breakthrough Skill. Nice and easy, and uh, hopefully it is good enough to beat Joseph because, I mean, he's playing Ghost Trick Madolce, right? How bad can it be? So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Boy, Joseph, I didn't know there was a way you could piss off two communities at the same time, but we found an episode. We found a way. Here you go, everyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I'm going to be honest. Um, even I feel bad about this. It almost feels like bullying. Do you? No, I don't. No, Do you? you know what? I Actually, you I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of shit. No, you don't. Uh, so Ghost Trick Madolce, definitely a tier zero meta for threat sure, at for the sure. time. Going up against uh, Plant Quasar, another tier zero meta threat. Both of these decks were just like those fun decks you'd see at locals playing with from every once in a while. And uh, these decks, I believe they have like some regional tops here and there, but like not a ton, yeah. right? Um, I think the yeah. thought process for my deck started with, oh, you can call the trick or treat. And then they built the deck. <laughs> They were like, okay. That's how I always felt about it too, but we'll see. Maybe maybe uh, it'll be like one of those episodes where we think it's not going to be as fun as it will be, and uh, it actually ends up being a good yeah, time, maybe. but I highly doubt <laughs> it. Yeah. Let's help the patron. Uh, it's James. Thanks, James. Literally just James. Thank you for the support. Uh, buddy, you got the hand. I up. do, but warning. I picked rock this time by accident. Okay. Uh, I rolled a five for the number of stars on TG Hyper Library. I picked four for the number of stars on Tierra Masu. Fuck. Okay, so you picked rock, so that means I have to pick scissors, yeah, so you go. win. Okay, why did you pick rock? You never... This has to be the first recorded it was a mistake. evidence of you Maybe ever picking rock. it'll never happen rock. again. Yeah, 
Ah, uh, this All looks right. pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this is not I, terrible. I, I, my hand looks amazing too. So maybe we got a good hand uh, game on our hands. Best of luck. Uh, Magdalene. Sure. Uh, we will grab. Okay, it looks a little less good now. Uh, what <laughs> <laughs> nice. you actually looked at your deck? Let's grab Hoot Cake. I am gonna activate Chateau. Then I Great. am going to set three cards and pass. I can't play through this, buddy. Uh, I don't know if you know this. In Sealed Showdown, Robert pulled two Magellan. Oh. Uh, oh. So that was that was fun. That was a great time. Uh, we'll go standby main. I have like a lot of cool shit I can do, but you have three back rows, so there is zero chance any of this is going to resolve. Uh, let's just go normal mathematician activate. We're going to dump... Uh, we got a myriad of things we can dump, actually. I think, just to keep things simple, let's just get rid of Dandelion and trigger Dandy. Yep. Get a couple dudes, a couple of fluffs, and I am just going to set two cards of my own and check it back. Okay, I will draw for turn. Stand by main. Uh, let's go battle, I guess. Uh, we'll walk into the math. Uh, do I care about this? I'll take it. Was this four? Yeah. Sure, I'll draw a card. Uh, second main, we will set one. Back to you. Draw. I will bestow you with a nice, lovely thousand life. Yeah, you got it. I'm going to try for Lone Fire Blossom. The normal's fine. Activate. Uh, I will Divine Wrath here. Yeah, there was no way this was getting through. Okay. Uh, Divine Wrath of all yeah, cards right. you're playing in your deck. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, You got to get through some fluff tokens. So I guess I'm just passing. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw for turn. Changshi. Yep. Oh, buckle up, folks. We're going to be here a while. Uh, We might not be here particularly long. Uh, we'll grab Mary. Sure. Uh, normal Hoot Cake. Uh -oh. Effect. This is a real card. Uh, I will chain Maxi. Mm, I should have kept the, uh, the Divine, Divine Wrath. Wrath. That's fine. It does stop Maxi. Uh, we'll anything. grab Messengelato, then we'll trigger the effect. We'll sure. grab Ticket. Okay. Uh, we'll just go battle here. Um, we'll eat a token. Uh, sure. Uh, and then this. Yep. And then this is 2 and 21. Getting the 500 boost from the Chateau. Uh, second main, we'll go Ticket. We'll set one. Sure. We will uh, set the Jiangxi, and you're good. Not looking good, folks. Not looking good. Uh, we'll draw. Yep. Feeling generous, buddy. I will give you another. Hey, I appreciate points. it. I feel like we need to widen appreciate that gap it. a bit more. <laughs> Are we getting life equalizer here? We're 500, or not 500. We're 1,500 away from that happening, as much as I would like it to. Let's go math. Yeah. Trigger math. That's fine. We will dump... Wow, a lot of the cards in my deck suck. Uh, let's dump Lone Fire. That's fine. And uh, we'll just throw one down. Hope for the best. Anything in standby? Oh. All right. Uh, trap's done. Can I live is the question. Mary in hand. Two more back row. I still got to play through. Fuck. No, I think trap's done. Got me. I'm dead. Game two, buddy. Well, buddy, uh, I'll tell you, I had, like, the full god combo, but three back row, I didn't even see what two of them were, but Divine Wrath was probably enough just to stop me in my tracks. I just, I, I could not do anything about it. I will say that first game made your deck actually look quite impressive, although I didn't know, really, like, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised, too. Oh, and the second one looks a little more like what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, we'll see if that's true. Main phase one, uh, I gotta be honest, my hand, my hand has seen better days. I will, I will say that. I really don't want to give you an opportunity, but I gotta be honest, looking at this hand, I don't think I have much of a choice. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna T-set and pass of all things. Cool deck, buddy. Uh, stand yeah. by main. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Space it. Uh, it's traps done. Okay. Draw. Oh, there we go. The best draw yeah. in the deck. Easy. All right. Activate. Yeah. Uh, we'll send another if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. And who we grab in? Oh, uh, we can just get like anything at this rate. Uh, we'll go dandy. So I can do some cool things here. Uh, I'm going to flip Mystic Macrocarpa Seed. <laughs> Bet you've never seen this card before. Uh, don't worry, it's not going anywhere soon. Uh, we're going to overlay for Melie of the Trees. This is always a card, like, you read this, and it seems like it would be crazy. And, like, in this deck, it is actually quite good. Some of the other times, eh, no, not the best. Uh, so we'll get this out. Uh, we're going to detach our Dandelion here. And we're going to go ahead and... I think I'm going to dump a 
boar to the graveyard. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we'll trigger dandelion. We'll get a few tokens. Yep. Then, uh, do I even want the tokens, actually? Kind of clogging my board, if I'm being honest. Yeah, fuck that. Soul charge for four. Yeah. So we'll go lone fire, lone fire, uh, dandy, and spore. Oh, God. So we're going to go uh, lone fire effect. Let's get tight. Tenial. So we'll take another uh, Mystic Macrocarpa Seed. I'm going to sink the Seed and Dandy for Barkeon. Trigger Dandy, get a token. Then go Spore Token for Formula. Formula Effect, we'll draw a card. Uh, I'll just send off this Lone Fire. We'll get Titanial. Mm -hmm. And I think probably just end it here it's not pretty but uh go ahead me on five negates it's not pretty but okay that i was... wanted to go for quasar and i'm probably sure i could have gotten there i just have no idea what i'm doing that's a crazy draw oh uh, we'll go mangeline uh that's fine we'll grab medolce male wife sure your favorite ticket pretty good that's it go ahead <laughs> Or not, never mind. Uh, thinking... Nah, I probably don't need to do anything. I'll draw. We'll go main. You're on, what, 8k? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sink the formula and the Barkeon for a Scrap Dragon. Sure. Set one. Scrap effect. Uh, pop my back row and your Magilene. Uh, we'll go Magilene effect engrave. And that'll go up here. We'll go ticket. Uh, gee, I don't know. I don't think any of these are very good. <laughs> Let's just grab another Magilene. Okay. Problem here is that you still have all the ghost trick stuff, so you can feel a bit pretty just sitting behind all of that, unfortunately. Perhaps. <laughs> Where's Naturia Landois when you need him? I don't even know if he negates effects in hand. I'm going to use Melier. Uh, we're going to get back the seed. I will yep. normal mathematician. Well, dumb. I don't even have that many targets left to get rid of here. Spell striker, I guess. Sure, whatever. Uh, I'll use the seed to reduce the level by one, and then we'll make Nat Beast. Yes. And uh, this should, I mean, presumably this is lethal, but uh, obviously I know you've got uh, stuff. One so would 17. expect, wouldn't you? Uh, I'll, I'll take the 17 for sure. 22. After the 17, we'll go Mary. Uh, no response. All right, we will go get uh, Jiangxi. Set him down. Uh, we'll go Nap Beaston. We'll go Jiangxi. Uh, we'll grab Jack Frost. Jack Frost is out? I know, right? I mean, I got to get it out of you eventually. So 28. Uh, Jack Frost. Sure. So it sets him. Uh, 28. Uh, second main, I am chilling. Go ahead. Stand by main. Male wife. Effect. Uh, back to special. I got Maxi. All right. Uh, hoot kick. I'll draw. Yeah, I think I just have to give you a million cards. Uh, hoot cake effect. No response. Uh, mess and gelato effect. At Chateau? Yep. <laughs> what if I just go combat here? I can't clear anything. Gonna overlay these two for invoker. Get a draw. Invoker. We'll grab Messengelato. Uh, let's overlay here. Uh, Tiramisu. I'll draw. Uh, Tiramisu effect. Pretty good. What are you targeting? Who knows? Um, there's no targeting here. You're targeting in your graveyard, sir. Oh, uh, let's go. <laughs> oh, so actually I only detach one for this. We'll yeah, target... you only detach one. Um, we'll target the two Medulces. And I have no response. Fortunately, Titanial does not work against this. Let's go Titanial Nat Beast. Makes sense. Uh, and then let's uh, go Ticket. Uh, we'll grab uh, Hoot Cake. Uh, because we control a fairy, we will special it. We're going to activate Chateau. Uh, Shuffle all of them back, if any. Nope. Yeah, we got none. And then we'll go to combat. We'll go 2K. So take three. Uh, we'll go whatever this is. Uh, it's dead. Uh, and then we'll go 16. All right, back to you. All right, uh, that was a quick turn of events. Main phase one. Got a million cards to try to beat you now. Question is, can we actually do it? Uh, start with good old Dark Hole. Uh, that is a good one. That's a, wow, that's a crazy one. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go hoot cake effect here. And then we'll go ticket effect. We'll go hoot cake in hand off of Chateau. And we'll grab male wife off the sure. ticket. Got some things. I've got some things. Let's go foolish burial. Let's see what's left in my deck. Mm -hmm. Literally nothing. That's spectacular. Uh, we'll get rid of another spell striker. Whatever. Actually, no. I'm going to send Titanial. We'll go math. Math effect. Get rid of spell striker. Whatever. I'm going to special spell striker. Get rid of uh, MS. He, whatever, this doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go for a second Melier, if Dueling Book allows me to. We'll go Effective Melier, bring back Lone Fire. Yep. I'll go Lone Fire Effect, get Titanial. Yep. Uh, this is what, 45? You're at 63? <coughs> uh, I'm going to banish two Spell Strikers or redox. Oh God, right. So 33, 53. I am like a couple hundred off, assuming there's no ghost tricks, which is impossible. Uh, we'll just go battle. 16. Mm, yeah, 17. Uh, we'll go Mary here. Oh, sure. Jangshi? Yeah. Uh, we'll go over the Jangshi with Titanium. Uh, sure, we'll go Jangshi here. Uh, we'll Jack Frost, Mary. number two. Another Mary. Uh, we'll go Melee for 17. And here we'll go Jack Frost. I already had it, didn't even matter. Sure, so Melee gets set. Yep. Second main, I'll go two down, over to you. You had set cards in here? Uh, draw for turn. Somehow, so, uh, yes. Uh, Normal, oh, now this is a little crusty. If there's like fiendish chains in this deck, then we might have a problem. Uh, let's um normal male wife and activate the effect. Maxi again. Okay, uh, we'll special hoot cake. Take a uh, draw. Let's go hoot cake effect. We're gonna banish T uh the Messengelato. Uh Messengelato. Draw. Uh, yep. Overlay here for Leviar. Take another draw. Target Messengelato. All good. Take another draw. Uh Tierra Masu. Uh I'll draw. I will bottomless this one. Sure. That is uh, devastating. Uh, we'll go combat here. Defense on the Malias. 900. Yeah, we'll beat that guy. Back to you. Uh, end phase, Redox comes to my hand. Mm -hmm. And I will draw. Well, I've got another 4 billion cards to kill you. If only I actually had monsters still to do so. Uh, yeah. That's the largest issue I'm facing now. Uh, let's go for Redox again. Yeah. Shit, that just might be it. Uh, go battle. Taniel over Levier. Uh, I'll take a thousand here. And then I'll just take out Jack Frost. How could you do this? Uh, after the Titanial attack, I'm going to marry. We will grab Jiangxi. Sure. Uh, we'll go into the Jack Frost. Yeah. Second main. Yeah, there's just like no way I can interact with it. Uh, I'll set two more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. And uh, go ahead. Uh, Dark Hole. Uh, Shit. Sure, no response. Let's normal hoot cake. Hoot cake effect. Max C again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, we will grab uh, my good friend, uh, Messin Gelato. Okay, I already drew off that. Uh, this is 15, 16. That can kill me, Torrential. Uh, okay. Um, we'll go hoot cake, Messin Gelato. Uh, they go to hand. They go to hand from Chateau. Uh, I'm going to leave the Messenger Lotto in deck. Uh, and then we'll go ticket here. Grab Mangeline. Sure. Back to you. Okay. Uh, I mean, like, the problem is <laughs> I just don't have any fucking monsters. <laughs> I, like, ran through them all. Got your army of Medulces ready to murder me next turn. That's great. Uh, we'll go Soul Charge. Oh! Yeah. I only can do it for two, so it's not that great. Uh, I think we're going to go scrap. Those and I'm not really playing trap, so like Barkeon doesn't do anything. I kind of just want Titanial because it's big. It seems like just big things are hard for you to deal with. Fuck it. We'll go Titanial. Sure. Uh, we'll go... S s we'll set one. We'll scrap effect. Uh, we'll pop your ticket. Sure. And I'll pop this foolish burial for, that I have, like, no targets for. 
I will set an additional card and throw it back to you. Oh my god. This one not going so hot. Let's set one and pass. Uh, setting and passing. I will still... I know you have like two Medulces in hand, right? You have Hoot Cake uh, you and You know Hoot Cake Magellan, yeah. Yeah, that's probably fine. I'll draw. Uh, I'll set one. Mm -hmm. Scrap Dragon Effect. Target... Uh the back row I just placed, and your monster. We'll go Divine Wrath here. Wiretap. Oh! <laughs> That's good. Okay. Uh, so uh, this gets popped. Yep. So uh, we'll go Chateau here. Uh, that is fine. Battle. You got it. Oh, oh my God. What a Jesus bleeder. Christ. That took 10 years off my life. That was, the, that was agony. That was, that was oh, agony. And honestly, like, I probably could have ended the game way quicker if I actually knew what I was doing. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was, I didn't realize how few monsters are actually in this deck. It's actually quite perplexing. Yeah. Uh, we'll just do this and uh, good luck to you. I mean, that seems pretty good to me for what your deck's trying to do. My hand sucks. I'll be honest. I'll rota. Yeah. What am I even trying to rota for? Spell striker? I think that's the only target in this deck. Uh, yeah. I get right. it. You know, then you can banish the rota yeah. for spell striker. Normal mystic macro carpacy. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. Banish rota for spell striker. Yes. I will overlay these two monsters to make melee of the trees. Absolutely. I will lose to divine wrath. Uh, no, I just have valor. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I get to keep the monster, so it'd be worse. <laughs> uh, bad. That's bad. I should not go to battle. Uh, if that's Jankshi, I'm, because I'm just giving you an extra search for no reason. So I'm just going to pass. Correct. All right, what are we grabbing here? Uh, probably Mary. God, this little line is so sick. I, every time I do it, I'm like, you know what? Ghost tricks, you're all right. Uh, we have I'm sure the ghost trick community is going to clip that one for them. We have to do something a little sussy here. This is a little sussy baka. Uh, we're going to overlay to Jiangxi. Go for Invoker. Oh, Alucard. Invoke? Yeah. Can I go for Invoker? Oh, my God, I can. He's generic. Yeah. <sighs> But the problem is Invoker gets, I think, exactly Messengelato. Yeah, so it gets Beast Warriors and Hootcake's a Beast. So all it gets is Messengelato, who won't trigger. And we'll worry about him later. For now, let's just do this. Uh, That's lame, but yeah, she's down. All right, back to you. Yeah, we'll do it. Let's Soul Charge. Jeez. Oh, I can really beat every it's card in your deck, deck but this one. Joseph. Yeah. It's the whole I, deck. I know, I know. It's not even that good. Uh, I'll just go two. I guess I could get Melier, but like, she doesn't really do anything. She kind of just is chilling there. She's just like uh, another body. I guess it's better than taking 18 to the face. Sure, I'll go three. All right, uh, I'm going to DD Crow the Maricopa seed. You asshole. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> because I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Well, unfortunately for you, I have the second in my head. Awesome. Well, okay. <laughs> we did our best. It's okay. You got two back row. I'm sure this isn't going through. All right. Well, summon the second Melier. Yes. Try it. Okay. I actually had the Divine Wrath. I yeah. knew it wasn't going through. There's zero chance that this was going through. Okay. At least I got to, you to waste a lot of cards. Yeah. So that. See, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. I was going to, if I didn't summon this Melier, I'm just going to take 18 to the face. So I may as well just take a little bit less, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not pretty. Uh, I'll summon Redox. Yeah. I kind of just don't want to die at this rate. <laughs> That's what I'm banking Understandable. On. I will pass. Boring. Stand by me. Magellan. I mean, boring. You stopped my play. Magellan's fine. Uh, we got you got time on Magellan. Uh, we'll go ticket. <clears throat> uh, Magellan into Malai. To crash it to trigger ticket? Yes. We'll get male wife. Makes sense. Get the combo. Uh, we'll go Alucard into Malai. Take 100. Back to you. Uh, Redux comes to hand. I'll draw. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted to see. That's actually my favorite card in this whole deck, if you didn't know. I mean, I got to do what I have to, I guess. Uh, we'll banish our last two things for Redox. Yes. Normal Spore. Mm -hmm. Let's make uh, the only... That's not true. We have multiple eights. Uh, we'll make Scrap Dragon. Yeah. Battle. Yes. Try it. I'll take a thousand here. Uh, we'll go Alucard in Grave. Sure. Uh, we'll grab Mary. This thing has an effect. I know. I know. You actually get to use it. Go. <laughs> 
Stand by main. Male wife. Yep. Declare. Maxi. Debunk. Fuck! I'm so dead. Uh, hoot cake effect. Yep. Uh, messing gelato effect. Mm-hmm. Uh, these two for uh, MX Saber Invoker. Invoker. I'm not even drawing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, messing gelato. I'm just curious what I would have drawn. <laughs> tiramisu. Uh, tiramisu. Uh, we'll just do the one. Uh... Chateau, shuffle the other, Got ticket, it. Uh, and uh, Chateau, we'll just do this, battle. From the ticket, and you have got it, Ooh. my friend. Wow. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, I just couldn't get anything going between the Valor, the Divine Wrath, the Crow. Crow also hurt, <laughs> Crow, too. Yeah. I, just, I don't know how much Crow, Crow really did, but... Uh, he traded for a card. That was what I wanted. It actually mattered because I had another line I could have done where I specialed this spell striker and brought back the spore. Oh, and then I, I could have actually made something from there. So it did actually slow me down a bit because getting rid of that one card fucked with that play a little bit. I don't think it would have mattered. I think Queen Tiramisu still shuffles everything back regardless. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I just, all the interruption you had, I just really couldn't play through it. So I was just kind of hoping that I could, but your deck looks fine to me. I, I don't really see much of an issue with it. I talked so <laughs> much shit on it in deck build and i have to say not only do i think that the that it's good and well positioned the ghost trick stuff is actually indispensable the only way you lose if you are playing madolce is your opponent like wipes you and then they get a turn to just attack you for lethal and that is impossible with mary jang shi jack frost i am yeah i i was you wrong massaging i was the wrong. egos of the ghost trick community right now. They are just thoroughly enjoying everything I get it. you have to say. I get it, folks. I will say, it's it's so frustrating from my perspective because like every time you're like, oh yeah, I've got them on an empty board. Not really. You have to fight through three additional monsters on top of it. And it's just so annoying, especially because if you don't have any way to interact on the crackback as well, typically when you make your lines, you have to decide for like going all in or you have to like be more conservative and actually maybe have some interaction. If you, if you just... Don't call them on the ghost trick stuff and you get punished for it. Like it could really just turn around. There was that one turn where I had like a full board of things and the next turn your board basically looked like how it does now. Yep. And I had nothing left. And that was all courtesy of the ghost trick stuff allowing you to survive. So I, I'm impressed. I admit, I, I think we were both sort of like laughing at this deck initially, but like, holy shit, this deck's actually kind of real. My deck uh, in the hands of a proper pilot would probably be good. Not in my hands because I am not very good. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a couple cool things that I got to show off. Like Melia is a neat little card. Just the amount of like different synchros you have access to in this deck is neat. Just because you are playing a lot of Earths, you have access to the Naturia stuff. I still don't know why we're not on Landois. I think Landois would be great in here, but it is kind of tight for what it's worth, especially if you're trying to mainly go for the Quasar thing. I probably missed the Quasar line in the one of the earlier games. This this game, I had zero chance of making Quasar. It was just never happening. Yeah, um, but yeah, Quasar is cool. The concept is nice, yeah. but. Ah, uh, he's he's kind of cope. I have to be honest. Um, it seems like it would play through the ghost trick stuff. If anything, it would. I feel like uh, more likely you're gonna win the game by going like Barky on uh, Naturia Beast Pass, which is still good. Yeah. Um, but like Synchro Plants is a deck that's been around for years, right? Like it has run out of steam at this point, and there's a reason for that. You know, you have to compete with all the maxis and hand traps in the world, all the back row in the world, and you have to compete with it against decks that are just so much better at wielding those tools than you are. Uh, Ghost Trick, uh, Midolche, maybe not one of them, uh, but still, I mean, the fact that this deck gave this deck pause is, I think, a pretty clear indicator that the, it's not as good as we would have hoped. Yeah, I was telling you a bit before we started filming, like, one of the ways to play this deck, if you just ignore the Synchro package, is the fact that you could just play Titanial Control, and that's, like, fine. Yeah. Like, Titanial's, like, good enough by herself. It lines up poorly against your deck because you have, like, Tiramisu, of all things, mm -hmm. just because she's able to, like, not interact on a targeting level. But if you just have a bunch of dudes and then Titanial's just sitting up, uh, this version of the deck isn't playing. There's, like, another... Uh, uh, princess card that this deck plays too, where you get this sort of like soft lock with like Titanial and the other one that like prevents Titanial from getting like destroyed by card effects mm -hmm. or something too, which is kind of sick. Uh, but this deck just wasn't on it, unfortunately. So I wasn't able to show that off. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's it's a Lone Fire, a, a Lone Fire Soul Charge deck. Mm -hmm. Like we've seen this a million times. And like, honestly, around this time period, if you're going to play a deck like that, you could just play Sylvan. <laughs> like <laughs> Sylvan just basically does what this deck does, but like way better and way more consistently. And you're playing way better cards. 
I get that this deck is just, you know, more trap focused, but I don't know. I feel like Sylvan's just like the better call here. But Quasar is cool. Quasar is, Quasar is cool. still cool. It's so funny. For the past like seven episodes, and I think this is probably our last one before we get to like Duelist Alliance format. But I think so. For the past yeah. like seven episodes, we've been playing this three soul charge format, and it's just like there are so many decks that are complete dog water. But you get to play three soul charge. So sometimes you do just win the game. Uh, yeah. And I think it's helped us a lot for History of Jank, but uh, competitively, I can't imagine playing a deck like either of these over like Sylvan. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT MBTPlayMa Dolce, Moto, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Richard Enormous, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Jesse Wood, Valen Jackson, Chris Hood, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Indian Ataisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Dalton, Lubon, Yodabon. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible. Horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Helios 515, CMOS Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Player Soon, Shrugzix, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, Corvain, and Grey9. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.